Ugh, this is absolutely unbearable. Who in their right mind would let a disgusting insect into her home? Hi, Janessa. Are you talking about a bug? Please don't tell me you've seen a cockroach or something. Uh, oh, a huge one. I'm talking about you. You're gonna be coming to visit along with Martin, aren't you? Oh, if that's what you mean. Yes, we are. We're excited to celebrate Carter's birthday with everyone. But don't you think calling me a bug is a bit harsh? Even as a joke? Who's joking? I'd much prefer if you stayed out of my home. I don't need you here trying to seduce the men of her family for their money. When have I ever tried to seduce someone? I would never do something like that. Oh yes, well, judging from your face, I suppose I don't have all that much to worry about. If you enter the line of sight, I'm sure everyone would instinctively avert their gaze. Where is all of this coming from? I remember you treating me very differently when Martin and I first got together. You called me pretty back then. Don't let my demeanor at that time fool you. I was merely being polite. You shouldn't take things people say at face value. Now I'm worried about your mind as well. I'm not so naive as to believe every person means exactly what they say. I do understand the subtler aspects of interactions. It's just my personal policy to believe the best in people. You should try it someday. You'd probably be a much happier person. Watch it, girl. I can tolerate an ugly fool, but I will not suffer being talked down to. Every single day I've been trying to figure out why Martin went and married you, but I just can't figure it out. I hope it's because he loves me, but I think that's something you'll need to ask him directly. You know, it's not too late. It was out of the question when I was young, but there is no shame in getting a divorce in this day and age. You know, you can say what you want about me. I can let most things slide, but please don't get mixed up in my marriage. Martin and I are very happy and won't be getting divorced anytime soon, thank you. Really? I'll provide a severance package of $1,000 if you get divorced. Wouldn't you prefer 10 Martin Jammons over one? There is no one on the planet who would just throw away her husband for $1,000. You're right. What was I thinking? My humble apologies. How about $1,500? You can keep adding zeros for all I care. I'm not going to divorce Martin. What is it with you anyway? What is it about me you hate so much? You are a lowly thief who stole my precious only son from me. What is there to like? Every day I pray that you'll just fall off the face of the earth or something. You know, I lost my own mother when I was young. One of the things I was looking forward to most when I got married was having a relationship with you. I decided to really give it my all to get you to like me. And why should I care about your personal circumstances? If you're trying to stir some kind of sympathy in me, you're wasting both our times. I'm not trying to stir anything. I'm just trying to tell you my honest feelings and thoughts. Yes, wonderful for you. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Do you truly intend to come to our home next week? Yes, of course. It's already set in stone, and I've already prepared a wonderful present for my Carter. So you're going to have to deal with me whether you like it or not. <sighs> I see. Well, if it can't be helped, it can't be helped, but I really, really do not want to let you into the house. At this point, I'd rather host a real bug than you. Couldn't you just break your leg and stay in the hospital or something? No, I can't just break a leg. Is that supposed to be a joke or something? Ugh, very well. How about a mysterious illness? Spice things up a bit and make it exciting. Am I that repulsive to you? Are you that desperate just to not see my face? Ugh, yes, of course. Seeing you turns my stomach. I think staying in the same room for too long would make me vomit. I see. All right then. If you feel so strongly about that, then I guess there's no choice. I guess I'll just stay home and tell Martin he can go back alone. How's that? Of course that won't work. Do you think Martin will just say okay to that? He'll, of course, think something suspicious. That's why I'm such a mess right now. Use your head once in a while. Okay, then what? What do you want me to do then? There's nothing that can't be done about you coming. That is simply something I have to accept. However, you must do everything in your power to stay out of my line of sight. Also, no personal conversations. We'll speak as needed in front of company and that's it. I'd really like to cooperate, but I think that's going to be really hard. Ugh, just do your best to avoid me. You can do that much, can't you? If you do anything to stick out or earn my ire, I swear I will poison your drink. Okay. That one was a joke, right? Oh, it seems like my restless nights are going to be continuing for the rest of the week.
What are you doing? What's your problem? How can you kick me out of the house like this? Oh, that feels so much better. Like a huge burden has been removed from my shoulders. Like the air has been purified and refreshed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you must realize that you're not really part of the family, so you have no right to stay in the house. What are you talking about? We were just together a moment ago. That was then, this is now. I tolerated your presence for Martin's sake, but now that Martin's asleep, there's no need to keep up appearances. In other words, there's no reason for you to stay. You can't just throw me out because Martin's gone to bed. Oh, but I can, and I have. You can sleep right where you are. Where am I even? It's dark and cold and dusty. Is this some kind of dungeon? Why do you even have a dungeon? For heaven's sake, it's not a dungeon. It's an old storage room that we don't use anymore. I've been meaning to tear it down, but since it's still standing, I thought we might as well make use of it. Do you think it suits someone like you perfectly? You can't just leave me here. It's freezing cold. If I sleep here, I'll definitely catch a cold. Please let me back into the house. Ugh, stop being so dramatic. It's not a freezer or an abandoned shack. There should be plenty of things in there to keep you warm. I'm sure there are only some old clothes or blankets stored away somewhere. They might be moldy, but I guess you'll have to choose between being cold or sleeping with the mold. Why are you doing this to me? What did I ever do to deserve this? You married my son. That's why I'm doing this. Because I despise you. How much clearer can I make it? You overstepped your boundaries today and ruined the evening. I didn't do anything wrong. I did exactly as you told me and tried my best to be invisible. The present that you gave Carter, you dimwit. What is the big idea of buying him an original label bottle of whiskey? That? That's something I talked with Martin about. We both decided on it. We know Carter likes to drink whiskey now and again, so we thought it'd be a nice gift. It's really popular recently giving a bottle of alcohol with the recipient's name on it. We thought it put a smile on his face. Ugh, don't play coy, you fox. I see through your wicked plot. You intended to get him drunk and have your way with him, didn't you? You were unsatisfied with sinking your stinking claws into just my son. Now you're after my husband as well. What are you saying? There is no way I would lay my hands on another man. Not to mention, I'm here with Martin. How would I pull off something like that sitting next to him? <laughs> and what do you mean by that? So you're saying that if Martin wasn't around, you'd try to seduce Carter? No, of course not. I wouldn't no matter what. I'm just saying to apply a little common sense to these crazy scenarios. It seems like my decision to kick you out was the right choice. Oh, how terrifying you are. Okay, enough of these distasteful jokes. Are you seriously planning on making me sleep in here? Of course I am. Do you think I'd go this far for a practical joke? All right, but did you think this through? Leaving me asleep in the storehouse or whatever? What do you think Martin and Carter are going to think when they find out? That I spent the night in here. Of course I've thought it through. All I have to do is wake up early and let you out before those two wake up, of course. It seems like you are seriously going to leave me here. You know what? Fine. I'm sick of this. I'm going to go back home if this is how you're going to treat me. Huh? What do you mean? Exactly what I said. If I have to sleep in this dingy, gross, cold storehouse, I'd rather just go home. I'll go back and sleep in my house in my own bed. Thankfully, we came in my car and I didn't drink, so I can just leave. And what do you intend to do about Martin? Then you're just gonna leave him here and go by yourself. Quite the cold-hearted snake, aren't you? I'll come pick him up in the morning. Of course, if you just let me in the house like a normal person, then we can avoid all this. I see. Well, in that case, who am I to stop you? Please, by all means, crawl back from whence you came. Fine. I will do just that. That is, if you can get out. I hesitate to ask, but what do you mean by that? You haven't noticed yet? No, <laughs> I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Oh my goodness. Really? The door won't open. There isn't even a lock on the door. What did you do? Simple. I locked it from the outside. It's a storage house after all. No need for there to be a lock on the inside. What? You can't just lock me in here. Let me out. Ugh, pipe down, I'm doing this for you. We need to keep the young woman safe from any marauders. Marauders? What time period do you live in? And what good does a lock on the outside do me against them? Let me out now! Do you really want to get out that badly? Of course I do. Ugh, very well, I'll just open this lock and... Oh no, it seems I've lost the key. 
Oh, how careless of me. Knock it off this instant. Let me out. Yes, well, as much as I'd love to play this game with you all night, I really should get some sleep. The party has taken a lot out of me. I don't think I can go on any longer. So good night. I hope you have a pleasant rest. What? Wait, you can't leave me like this. Ugh, you're still so energetic. How youth is wasted on the young. Still, you are a guest and it's late. I really must insist that you go to sleep already. Good night. No, wait, Janessa! Hey, Ellie. Are you perhaps still awake? How are you finding your sleeping arrangements? I hope the rats have been keeping you company. Why are you still awake? Oh, I did try to sleep, but this is just too good to miss out on. I kept wondering how the thief who stole my son was doing. And how is everything? We're not the Ritz, but I do hope you found your accommodation suitable. It is amazing. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. What? What do you mean, fun? I know. Usually it's not a word you would use to describe a trip to your in-laws, but this is incredible. I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be having such a good time. What nonsense are you spouting? Are you trying to act tough or something? Oh no. I see. After being locked in that shed, you finally snapped. The panic must have gotten to you. Nope. Neither. I'm really genuinely enjoying myself. Ugh, what do you mean? There's no way you're enjoying yourself. You're basically locked in a cage. What could possibly be so entertaining? Oh, didn't you know? I'm actually super into antiquing. I love old stuff. And the storehouse is like a museum. I hit the jackpot. Wow, look at these teacups. They look ancient. So many antiques. So much history. Oh wow, what's this? It looks like it's worth a fortune. You're going through our belongings now. We knew you were nothing but a common thief. Keep your hands off of our belongings. No, no, no. I would never dream of taking anything. <laughs> I'm just taking the tour. Enjoying it all with my eyes. I have no intention of stealing any of it. You can't fool me. I see right through your plan. You intend to agitate me into letting you out. Pretend like you're messing with our stuff to fluster me. Like I said, no. I really just enjoy these kinds of things. Also, on top of all the treasures, I got to see another face of you that I haven't before. This is really good. What? What are you on about? You don't know, or are you just being shy? There was this one old box all the way in the back. Inside was an even older diary, like ancient. When I peeked inside, what do you think I found? A very vibrant journal of carnal experiences with many, many men. <laughs> it's all laid out bare. Wow, this is some sultry stuff. I was freezing an hour ago, but now I need some ice. Oh no, that's not. Don't touch that. Yeah, I'd recognize this writing anywhere. This is your diary, isn't it, Janessa? How did you find that? I made sure to put it in a place no one would ever notice. Put it back at once! I mean, you locked me in this gross cold building all by myself. I was too cold to sleep, so I have to keep moving. There's not much room to move about, so I had to keep myself busy other ways. Who knew such a treasure would fall into my lap? My my, you were quite the minx at one point, weren't you? I said, put that back now, you little twit! Keep your grubby paws off of other people's things. Oh, is this some kind of poem? Oh no, this is too much. You mind if I read it? A poem? No, stop! When I'm in your arms, I end up losing myself. Drowning in your love, this time makes the twelfth. Wow, you were really bad at this, huh? Stop! No more! Put it back! What is love? I do not know. But I feel it when your seeds you sow. Jeez, you're quite the little Shakespeare. I said no more. I get it. The words are one thing, but what's with all these pictures you so diligently preserved? Wow, just how many men have you been with? This has got to be some kind of record. Still, I gotta ask, why did you keep this thing? Carter may not care much now, but if he saw this when he was younger, oh boy, would you have had a time explaining it? Oh, what's this? Hmm, this entry is a bit troubling though. What entry? It's clearly describing a physical relationship with another man, just like the rest. Problem is, this was written just 12 years ago. You were just about 50, right? And Martin was in middle school? 
Let me see if I understand how timelines work. That means that this relationship was well after you were married. I am warning you. You put that back and forget everything you've seen. Let's see. This one is from 13 years ago. Another page turner. This one is from 15 years ago. Oh my. You are quite the fox in your younger days. Wow, it just keeps going on and on. Just how big is your appetite? No, it's not what you think. Oh, what is it then? Those are just stories. Yes, I made them all up. None of it actually happened. Fiction, all of it. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. There's no way you had an affair with dozens of guys over the years, right? Oh, but wait, does that include these photographs as well? I must say, the craftsmanship is incredible. I don't think you could fake pictures this well, even with modern technology. <laughs> oh, shut up! This ends now. I let you out. You can even stay in the house. Just forget everything you've seen. Nah, I'm good. This diary is the best read I've had in ages. I'm pretty sure it can keep me entertained until morning, so don't worry about me. I'm not worried about you. Put everything back and don't touch anything else. Oh, you just dug your own grave. The way you said that means there's something else to be found. Oh, I can't wait to find it. Wait, could it be? What? What is it now? I knew it. Oh, this is the best. Wow, it looks brand new, too. I thought it wasn't used, but looks like there are some entries. Let's have a look, shall we? What? What are you doing? What are you reading? Oh, no. Oh, I can't breathe. I thought that last diary was just full of bad mistakes you made in the past. But nope, it seems like you're still in your prime. The hijinks are ongoing. This stuff is all quite recent. No, you're confused. That's not what this is. Now, now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's perfectly natural. We all have needs. To be honest, as a member of the same sex, my hat goes off to you. I'm half your age and not nearly this energetic. Still, these are things you have to take care of while you're still single. They aren't appropriate for a married woman. Don't you dare even think to tell anyone. I will burn that shed to the ground with you in it! I don't think you should be doing anything that might upset me, do you? Just imagine if Martin and Carter were to find out about this. The looks on their faces. You might be in your 60s, but I'm pretty sure Carter's would still give you the boot. And I bet Martin will never look you in the eyes again. This little bundle of paper has the power to take away everything you hold dear. Well, not the mountain of men you slept with. That's why I said to keep your mouth shut about it. Do not tell a soul. Dearest Janessa, have you forgotten our little situation? What you did to me? No, it's just- You kicked me out of the house and locked me in a worn out old warehouse in the middle of the night. You've called me a bug and a thief over and over. Not only is this downright evil, but it is definitely illegal. I'm sorry. That's why I said I'm going to let you out. Oh no, that's not the problem anymore. I'm talking about how you treated me like absolute garbage despite my best efforts to get along with you. You never gave me a chance and I have hit my limit. That's what I'm talking about. What are you saying? Are you threatening to tell those two about all of this? I'm not threatening anything. I'm doing it. It is a done deal. There's nothing you can do to keep me from it. It's not for me, though. I'm doing it for Carter, who has been deceived by this demon all these years. Quit messing about. This is no joking matter. I'm coming right now, so stay still. What's your game plan, huh? You're going to tackle me and steal it back? That is exactly what I'm going to do. Sorry. Too late. I've already recorded everything. All my phone pics and videos. I've already sent it all to Martin, too. Game over! <laughs> you what?! I thought this diary was going to help me pass the time, but now I'm too excited for morning. You little tramp! Yeah, keep up that attitude. See where it gets you. I'm not stopping with the diary. I wasn't kidding about this being a crime. I'm filing a police report. What?! What do you mean, what? This is clearly a crime. I really don't want to do any of this. I considered us family and had to do something like that to family. However, locking me in this shed is a real crime, and you already made it clear that you aren't family. Hold on. Let's talk this out. There is no reason to do anything hasty. 
This was all just a little prank, some harmless fun. You even said you enjoyed yourself. There's no need to get the bullies involved. I really doubt you meant any of this as a fun prank. Well, it was. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for how I've treated you. And I'm sorry for what I did to you there. You can apologize until the cows come home. My mind is made up. I'm your mother-in-law. You have to forgive me. Yeah, too bad we both know you're only saying sorry because you want to save your own skin. All you had to do was treat me with simple human respect and let me stay in the house, and none of this would have happened. Allie, please! After that, Martin and Carter discovered the truth about Janessa's cheating and locking me up in the storage house. Rage is an understatement for their reaction. They both completely lost all respect and love for her. Carter immediately filed for divorce, and Martin disowned her as a mother. I also reported the incident to the police and told them how I was imprisoned against my will. We reached a settlement out of court for $3,000. Janessa, who was kicked out of the house, is now living in a dilapidated shack that resembles that old storage house. It seems like she's working for the first time in her life. I'm sure she's enjoying it very much, but I have no clue what will happen to her in the future, nor do I care at all. The one thing that I do find curious, though, is that the diaries vanish without a trace. If she still has them, I hope she treasures them. They're full of her precious memories.